Hey guys, how are you? So welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our prelims answer writing series in which what we do we uh, daily discuss some questions relating to your prelims and uh, as is clear from its name this series is not just about uh, uh, solving the questions but it is also about your participation in the series because the name of this series is let's solve some questions for prelims 20. 2020. So we do expect that you people will participate in the discussion uh, that will be uh, will, will be there in the forthcoming slides. So today is video number 24, and uh, today we are going to discuss the questions from the uh, topic of Indian polity. So let's see what are the uh, what are the questions for today. So the first question is uh, the DK Basu guidelines given by the Supreme Court are related to. A attachment of the assets of bankrupt companies, the rehabilitation of children who are victims of trafficking and sexual abuse, and C is procedure of arrest and detention and interrogation of any person, uh, uh, and uh, D is regulation of foreign NGOs working in uh, India. So, friends, the answer is C. So, it is basically the procedure which is to be followed and. Uh, Regarding the interrogation of persons, uh, so uh, when uh, interrogation and also detention as well as the rest. So it was basically to end the malpractices uh, that that were uh, there uh, uh, that uh, that are there in case of uh, uh, the arrest and detention of the person. So because you might be know, uh, aware of the fact that uh, uh, there is a considerable degree of problem in the uh, in the police uh, police as an institution of India. So uh, multiple reforms are needed. So uh, now let's move to the uh, uh, explanation part of this series. So as is uh, uh, shown in your on your screen. So solution. is c so supreme court has uh, laid down specific requirements that are to be required so um, and other agencies have to follow for the arrest and detention interrogation of any person so uh, these now these guidelines are known as dk basu guidelines so some uh, these include the police official who who carry out the arrest or interrogation should wear clear accurate and visible identification that is the name tags uh, with their designations as well so a memo of arrest should be prepared at the time of arrest and should include the time and date of arrest so it is very important this guideline is very important so sometime uh, uh, the, the these guidelines are also important from your means point of view because they are considered to be quite comprehensive so memo of arrest should be prepared at the time of arrest and should it uh, should include time and date of arrest so it should be attested by the at least one person one witness who could uh, include a family member of the person arrested so the arrest memo should be counter signed by the person arrested so you might be aware of the Uh, 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 fact of Article Thirty uh, Two uh, of uh, Indian Constitution, under which uh, Supreme Court has. Uh, the uh, power to uh, to issue writs uh, for for ensuring the fundamental rights of the citizens so uh, it it can uh, issue the writ of habeas corpus if uh, uh, if if the person that is being uh, detained is not produced before uh, uh, before the nearest magistrate within 24 hours of arrest so uh, most of the time uh, uh, earlier what used to happen uh, and now even it it happens that person is uh, arrested quite earlier but uh, uh, his uh, Uh, his date where uh, his time of arrest is mentioned late uh, quite late and then uh, he is presented to the magistrate uh, in the subsequent 24 hours so the period prior to that uh, is isn't covered so that's why it has been uh, asked in dk basu guidelines that the person who should be arrested uh, the, the time and date of the arrest should be clearly mentioned so the person arrested or detained or being interrogated has a right to inform relative friend or belvisha so if uh, a certain person is arrested, arrested or detained or being uh, interrogated uh, uh, so it ha he has a right that uh, his family member must uh, uh, must must be aware of these all these facts and uh, now then uh, other is when a friend or, rela or relative lives outside the district the time and place and venue of custody must be notified by police within the 8 to 12 hours after arrest so for example if a person is arrested and the friend or relative lives outside the district the time place and venue of the custody must be notified by police within 8 to 12 hours now uh, 
let's move to the next question next is uh, which of the following is are the key features of indian secularism secularism first the constitution does not give a special status to any religion second the constitution allows the state to intervene in the religious matters in order to ensure equality within the religious communities third the state can regulate and even control religious institutions so we have to choose the correct answer so let me tell you friends that the answer is d all are correct so there is no official religion for indian state. so uh, this is very much clear so there is no special status that is being given to to a particular religion so constitution also in allows uh, intervention in the religious matter so that to include uh, ensure equality within the religious matters so state can intervene uh, 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 with regard to uh, the equality that is to be ensured and state can also regulate and even control religious institutions so this is about this question uh, and uh, sorry uh, just a minute it's, it is not moving uh, yeah so uh, the, there is no official religion for indian state so unlike the status of buddhism in sri lanka and that of islam in pakistan and christianity in england so the our con constitution does not give a special status to any religion so it it provides to all individuals and communities freedom to profess practice and propagate any religion or not to follow any uh, any so the constitution also prohibits discriminations on grounds of religion so at the same time constitution allows the state to intervene in the matters of religion in order to ensure or equality within the religious communities for example it has uh, the, uh, the untouchability practice that was prevalent in hinduism it has been banned so uh, and then also statement raises uh, perhaps the best examples of the government control of vishnu devi shrine board in jnk so the state does this in order to curb private monopoly on in religious domi uh, dominations and equitable use of revenue earned uh, their form so this is about your uh, Uh, second question so let's see uh, uh, what is the next question so the next question is if there was no right to constitutional remedies in the constitution which of the following would follow uh, a a citizen would not be able to move court at all uh, uh, b there would be no rule of law in the country c separation of powers between legislature and ex executive would be completely diluted a democratic uh, government may turn authoritarian so friends uh, 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 in this context uh, the answer perhaps seems you, you people may say that it is a or d so uh, yeah d can also be uh, your answer because right to constitutional remedies if it is not available then the, uh, how 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 a person can ensure his fundamental right uh, so let's see the question answer is d so basically the uh, dr ambedkar considers the right to constitutional remedies as a heart uh, heart and soul of the constitution so it is because right gives the uh, in the right to appeal approach a high court or the supreme court to uh, get any of the fundamental rights restored in the case of their violation so why the supreme uh, uh, the supreme court and high court can issue orders and give direction to the government for the enforcement of these rights so justification is that a citizen will not be able to move court only for getting his constitutional rights enforced he can move courts for other purposes so uh, be careful so such type of tricky questions uh, can be asked in the upsc so uh, it is not that uh, uh, not non availability of right to constitutional remedies uh, will will uh, will kind of deny the uh, the citizen the right to move to uh, to to the courts so in that context uh, uh, it is this is not completely true and then uh, option b rule of law emanates from the article 14 which essentially considers everyone equal before law so then uh, so option c is an absurd statement and uh, the the answer is d so if citizens uh, cannot uh, get their fundamental rights enforced uh, governments uh, uh, government uh, may uh, very well breach these rights such as censoring newspapers and then uh, you are imposing curfews and emergency like situations so d is the correct answer so now let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements a a ministry which loses confidence in rajya sabha is obliged to resign uh, uh, reason, reason is the council of ministers is collectively responsible to the rajya sabha so you might be uh, uh, might be might uh, the, uh, the you, may, uh, you may very well know that uh, that it is a quite uh, quite easy easy question so here the answer is uh, both a and r are incorrect so it is not the case that uh, the person cannot move uh, 
to enforce um, uh, sorry uh, 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 let me tell you that here the answer is d because the ministry uh, uh, which loses confidence in rajya sabha is obliged to resign because consular ministries are uh, they it is collectively responsible to the uh, to the to the rajya sabha so the answer is uh, uh, that uh, d uh, so now let's move to the next question next is uh, Uh, explanation about it so here uh, i have already explained to you and uh, last question of the day is which of the following statements with reference to the office of president uh, of india is correct a state legislatures are not part of the electoral college of vice presidents vice president b the vice president may be removed from his office by a resolution of rajya sabha passed by a majority and agreed to by the lok sabha c is the uh, the vice president acts as the ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha and takes over uh, the office of the uh, president when whenever there is a vacancy so d is uh, all of the above so we have to choose the correct answer. so so uh, let me tell you that uh, uh, the answer is uh, uh, here uh, just a minute uh, with reference to the office of vice president is conduct uh, state legislation is not part of electoral college of state vice president yeah a is correct so the answer is a uh, answer not c, let's see other statements also because d all of the above is there the vice president may be removed from his office by resolution of the rajya sabha passed by majority and agreed to by the lok sabha yeah this statement is also correct and c that is vice president acts as ex official chairman of the rajya sabha and takes over the office of the president when 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 there is a vacancy so this is also correct so uh, so answer is all of the above so now let's move to the explanation part so all these are correct so uh, the vice president is elected for 5 years so uh, his election method is similar to that of president but the only difference is that the members of state legislature are not part of the electoral college electing him so the impeachment of the vice president is different from that of the president so in the later case um, uh, houses uh, the both the houses must pass resolution by a special majority so Uh, in case of removal of president both houses are required to uh, 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 pass resolution by a special majority but in case of vice president uh, he can be removed from his office by a resolution of rajya sabha passed by majority and that resolution agreed to by the lok sabha so vice president acts as the president only until a new president is elected so bd jati acted as the president on the death of the fakhruddin ali ahmed until a new president was elected so this was the uh, about these five questions friends so if your score is is 5 out of 5 then it is good but if your score is 0 1 2 3 4 then i will say that it is very 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 good because at least you have learned something you have come across new concepts as well as facts so uh, but this is very important thing so when you come across new concepts and facts uh, so uh, you get an idea uh, uh, and and you you move in your journey uh, towards your goal so for example this is your goal and from from here you are beginning then at least uh, uh, you you by at least when you have seen these five questions you have come across many new concepts and uh, uh, facts that you were not aware so in this process you have learned something so why i have uh, uh, the discuss this marks concepts because my suggestion to you is that don't don't count your marks in the beginning don't count them it is my clear suggestion to you uh, follow follow the process that is uh, Of uh, of of uh, learning some uh, new things by solving the questions because it is not the very first day that you will start solving the questions and you will score very good marks. So it is a process and you will learn uh, uh, gradually that how the questions are to be solved and how the things are to be covered. So uh, I I request you to uh, just uh, take these videos as a mode of uh, learning. So also friends, uh, uh, in order to facilitate the time bound completion of your syllabus, we also have various series on our channel uh, that for example. we have a, a brief history of modern india series by spectrum publication in which we cover your entire book of that brief history of modern india in 45 days so there are different courses for it for example then we have geography ncrt series uh, uh, then uh, then also we have uh, indian polity by m lakshmikant series so uh, we have uh, all these series and nc for example uh, 
polity NCRT series also and then history NCRT series and different courses we have for the purpose and also we have uh, that uh, Indian economy by the Singh series so in all these uh, uh, series what we do we daily give you a target which you have to read and in the evening we give you 10 MCQs from the target and uh, in this way you get uh, 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 you, you get daily questions and your syllabus is completed in a time bound manner so how it uh, benefits you so obviously uh, you might be aware of the fact that these books are the foundation foundations of your preparation so each and every book uh, 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 will be covered and coverage of your entire syllabus will be through mcq mode so this will ensure necessary discipline which must be there in your studies so if that is that is missing then uh, that, uh, that may cost you dearly so also then uh, most of the students are preparing from home so they are not in urban areas to get co uh, to uh, to get costly coaching so uh, but what they face is the problem of complete completing the syllabus in a time bound manner so here uh, uh, we we, uh, we ensure that your syllabus is completed in a time bound manner and also problem of revising multiple sources is also solved because all important topics uh, are there in uh, these mcqs so you can refer to them as a one point single source so for uh, uh, learning and these books are also widely recommended by various topers so mere reading is not enough uh, you must also know how the questions are framed by U UPSC so that you can get an idea about uh, how to solve the MCQs and also then the uh, discipline preparation gives you much needed self confidence and your prelims is just 6 months away so uh, uh, now is the best time to start because uh, uh, if, if we count the days then uh, it is not proper 6 months we have just 5 and a half months left for the for the prelims so if in case you are interested then you can check the description box so in the description box we have all those uh, 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 links for various series that we have so uh, for polity series for economy series for history series for uh, geography and CRT series we have given the links there and also we have a telegram channel channel friends so on this telegram channel we have more than 15,000 students that follow us so uh, if, uh, these 15,000 students have access to various resources that we share for the purpose of CSE preparation so uh, if uh, and also the discussion of these uh, the, uh, the, the pdfs of uh, the discussion of these uh, videos will also be available in this telegram channel so if you want to access those pdfs then do ensure that you join our telegram channel so the link is there in the uh, description box so it is shown on your screen as well so do ensure that you check the de description box and join us uh, telegram channel using the link and also if you like this video do, do ensure that you like it share it with your friends and also if you have any queries doubts you can ask in the comment box so we will uh, revert back to you promptly so this is all about friends today's video thank you have a very nice day